St. Edwards State Park. State Park. Yeah, in Kirkland, Kenmore area. Kenmore area, yep. Uh, it's a nice little park so far. You need to discover paths to park here. Yeah, you need to discover paths. Right there. Looks like a really cool park for kids. Okay. I wish I went there when I was younger. <laughs> um, we're gonna try fishing. There's no pier or anything there, so I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll catch something off the shore. But yeah, I'll show you show you a little bit of this trail. And check back in in a few. That is some type of famous hotel. We're gonna check out the history of that in a little bit. But yeah, it's a lot of trails. Like you go on. Yeah, the trail's way steeper than I expected. That's for sure. So coming back up will be fun. Okay, I'll be honest. It's not, not like the longest trail in the world, but it's way longer than I expected it was going to be. Um, I would recommend bringing your hiking boots if you have them. Uh, the sneakers will probably be just fine, but it's definitely way steeper and longer than I expected. So, yeah. Anyways, keep on. Right at the bottom, they got restrooms for you if you need restrooms. Pretty nice. Nice Lake Washington views. Little picnic areas. Cool. This is where we're gonna fish a little bit. Maybe something under these trees. But well, we're gonna go with. Um, let me start off with I think this guy right here. No, no. Let's start off with this guy. See how he goes. Get that tied up. Alright, first cast. See if we get any luck. He didn't catch any fish. We're gonna try moving on to the next spot. We'll see. There's also this rope swing here and one there, which is interesting. I feel like the water is not that deep, but probably fun. Okay, so, you know, we were saying it's gonna be tough going back up, right? So we decided not to take the trail that we went down. We're taking the trail back up. Somebody said that this is the hardest way back up. So don't take the most northern trail if you don't wanna Puff and puff like I am right now. We're already huffing and puffing. Yep. We're like two minutes in. Check back in in a few. It is really nice though. So that nice trail. All right, this one, you know, we there wasn't many good fishing spots down there, so we didn't fish too much. Didn't catch anything, obviously, but it was a good trail. Um, we're gonna go check out the, the hotel right now. Apparently there's an indoor swimming pool. We're curious if that is like public, public or not. So check back in in a few to keep you updated on that. It's a full blown hotel. It's called the Lodge at St. Edward Park. So there's a lot of paintings in like the this isn't the lobby, just the hallways, I guess. I guess Stephen Dale Edwards. Um, pretty cool, but I think they sell them, it looks like. Like this one's 2,900 bucks. And all the other ones have price tags on them, so. 
very cool art too. Wow. So if you want some art, maybe this is a place to go. Cool restaurant. First floor. Okay, thank you. Like an old uh, yeah, like barber chair. workshop chair. <laughs> yeah, so we got we got um, an introduction. I recommend if you come here, go talk to the, the one of the people at the the front desk. Uh, she gave us a really good explanation of the place. She says it's haunted. So ask her a few of the questions uh, about why it's haunted, or, or him, whoever's at the front desk at the time. But yeah, there's a, she says most of it's like the doors and the windows are untouched. Um, it used to be a seminary, if you guys didn't know that already. But yeah, there's a lot of old photos. And oh yeah, this is a picture that looks like Hogwarts. That's so oh cool. wow, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, a lot of the priests lived here. Um, Whoa, that's a really cool photo. Yeah, this is a really, really cool place. I would definitely recommend checking it out. So, as long as you got a Discover Pass, you can park here. Free little day trip. So um, many people. Can grab lunch at Cedar and Elm. Go for a little hike. Really cool spot. This is my favorite painting. It's really cool. All right, quick update, the indoor pool, they say that they don't use it, it's not available to the public, it's not available to guests, they use it as storage, I guess there's a crack in it. So don't, don't come here for the indoor pool. So this is where... I guess the young kids, or maybe anybody, they did penance. Mm -hmm. They call it the sin right word. Yeah, this is where, you, I guess you would go pray if you did something bad. Kind of spooky, a lot of bad omens here, I bet. Mm -hmm. So they have a chef's garden, and I'm really curious if the chef uses the food for the place Cedar and Elm. Um, I, bet, I bet they do. So yeah, you, that's the case of getting fresh food straight from the garden. Oh, and there's more over here, it looks like. More garden. Something, not really sure what that is. Overall, uh, definitely a place you guys should just all check out. Yep. Um, you know, the trails, you go by the water, you could probably go swimming. Uh, the, the hotel, if you stay at the hotel, that's a plus. Maybe during Halloween, that'd be a good place to stay. They've been open for about two years. Um, but yeah. Go check, definitely uh, check out the restaurant if you don't stay Yeah, there. check out the restaurant. We plan to do that one day, not today. But um, uh, don't forget, like and subscribe. Comment if you got anything to say. Um, but yeah, we'll check back in on the next video. Later.